Hello class, open to page 374. Ralph Nader was born 1934 in Winstead, Connecticut, where he was taught many valuable skills. He went on to write the book Unsafe at Any Speed in 1965. The biggest change I'd like to see in education is an adaption of the Paideia learning style. The Paideia learning style focuses on three types of teaching, didactic lecturing, seminars, and coach projects. Didactic is the first part of the Paideia process. The Paideia style features less didactic instruction than other styles, so teachers can focus on high quality lessons. Its purpose is to build a foundation for students to use in their seminars and coach projects. The second aspect of the Paideia learning style is seminars. In seminars, you take all the instruction and material that the teacher has given you in the didactic piece and you turn it into an intelligent discussion where you teach your peers and learn from your peers. You sit in a circle and discuss a text that has been pre-selected and you really analyze the text and you know try and learn as much as you can from the text. The third part of the Paideia learning style is the coach project, and that's where the didactic learning style and the seminars accumulate into uh, one giant project, which is uh, where students work together to go out and learn by themselves, using what they've learned from seminars, using what they've learned from didactic, to better understand the material they've been given. But they're working together, and that's what's really important, so students learn how to interact better with themselves and with others. The Paideia learning style not only provides students with the necessary information through the didactic learning style, but it also teaches students to critically think about this information through the use of seminars, and finally it allows them to culminate all their learning through the use of a coach project where they get to go out and research for themselves and really find something they're interested about and want to learn about. These skills have been shown to be necessary and useful in college as well as the general workforce, and it is for this reason that I'd like to see them implemented in Connecticut public schools.